Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Trespasser. In the last episode, we discovered that there were Gatlock barrels in the Winter Palace. The Kunari planned to explode the Exalted Council and everyone within it. It is rather like Corypheus's plan from two years ago, except the Kunari are doing it so much more effectively. I just... I, I just feel so badly for Corypheus. That poor man deserved better. He deserved so much better than he got, but oh well. Now then, let's see. I believe we have Rainier, Cole, and we... I could bring a mage. However... I'm pretty sure I know where the le where the next location is, and I if if I have this in the right order in my head, then I want to bring Varric. There they go. No keto, come on, people. Yes, we're looking for an alluvian marked by a bookshelf. And it is so kind of the Kunari to leave the paths, you know, as they're going. It is so kind of them. Yeah, we're coming. We're coming, lads. Oh, the potions! Bugger! I can do that the next time we're at, um, we're at the Winter Palace. Let's, let's see where this leads. Come on, up we go. It goes everywhere, even places that aren't anymore. So this one leads to some kind of prison. Oh god damn, that ain't that ain't right. Crumpled page. This note is written in an unknown language, but the portly figure at the bottom with a ring of keys and an unflattering scowl is likely a jailer who once walked these flagstones. He's been drawn cross-eyed with wiggling lines radiating from his backside. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. These will put up a fight. Come on then, people. Start up. And spinny spin. Him and then... Keep going. Running speed. Who? Who next? Who where? <laughs> really? Really? For the final one? It was just that pissy little fight? After after the two revenants and the the two despair demons and the rage demon? That is, that is shocking. Excuse me. The skin that stalks. Notes on methods of enchantment. Notes on the fourth attempt. The weave goes smoothly, bound tightly between many items. The stress on the energy produces finer results than a singular enchantment. Using up the last of the stock was well worth it, as I explained to it as a courtesy before final work began. Adjustments to the underlay were a great success, and will allow the recipe to be made with material taken from lesser animals, if the need arises. Below the letters, possibly in lieu of a signature, is the stamp of a stylized halahead. Taken together, diagrams and ratios carefully inked at the bottom of the last of these notes could be turned into a schematic that replicates the creation of these artifacts. I... Given that the stamp is of a stylized Halla head, and everything we know about Gillanane is that she was 
how, how do I put it? She, she sounds more like a government funded scientist. That's like, obviously we have the, the Dalish um, story of Gillanine about how she was, she was the beloved of Andrew Will and, you know, she uh, caught a guy hunting one of Andrew Will's blessed animals. And she was like, hey, fuck you. He was like, nah, fuck you. And she said, I'm a curse you. You're gonna be uh, you're you're gonna be really shit at hunting now, um, until you repent unto Andrewil, and then the hunter couldn't hunt for shit, and his mates were all laughing at him. So he went to um Gillanine and said, "Listen, I've totally learned my lesson. I'm really sorry. Come with me to this really shady area and tell me how I can make." make reparations to Andrewil. And Gillanane said, I see nothing suspicious about this. So she went with him to this shadowy, shady area, uh, at which point he went psych, um, stabbed her, blinded her, bound her limbs, but he couldn't kill her. And so he left her there to die. And Andrewil showed mercy and turned her into the first howler, at which point she went to her sisters and her sisters were like, oh shit, uh, a white deer with curling silver horns that's clearly our sister gillanine we should totes follow her oh look some dickhead and then they murdered him um we have the dalish story of gillanine but the things we found in the elven temple of mathal which basically said that she was she was creating animals and the gods were so impressed that they offered her godhood as long as she killed them because she kind of created too many this sounds I, I really wouldn't be surprised if these weren't Gillanane's research notes. Because she she was she, she was incredibly fond of the Hala. They were one of the few things she refused to kill. And she could have, like some of them, you know, the, the things that were too powerful to be killed. So she just kind of said, ah, I'll leave you be. Um, but the Hala aren't particularly powerful. They're herbivores. She could have very easily killed them. And yet she kept them. So I I really wouldn't be surprised if these were Gillanane's research notes. And the whole thing of like using using people. She says they're animals. However, why would you explain to an animal what it's being used for? She clearly just considers this creature as so beneath her that it is like an animal. But it's clearly a person. So I... I think these notes belong to Gillanane personally. Now, the skin that stalks is an absolute... Look at that. That is badass. I love this armor set. I really do. But it, it looks very evil. <laughs> it looks very evil. And I, I, that, that is iron ore. That right there is iron ore. I can't imagine her in any other armor. I do put my Trevelyan in the, the skin that stalks armor set. Recolored, obviously, to make it look friendlier, but I, I do think it suits her. Oh, come on. Well, no, 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 shit, shit. <laughs> I know, why did you do that? I know, go, where, is, where is the path? Where is the path? I'm, I'm so lost, I'm so lost. The path is over here. Okay, there we go. Get to safety. Okay, done. Good stuff. Yeah, now let's let's actually follow where the Kunari went. Round and up here. Lovely. Map of the Crossroads. This unsigned note was tucked into a bookshelf in the crossroads, as if left for someone to find. Do not stray from the marked paths. There are many mirrors. Some lead to danger. Do not linger longer than you must. At the bottom is a crude map of floating islands, some which seem impossible to reach. And a you. An marked by a bookshelf. This should be it. Right. Let's get some answers from the Vidasala. Or we could read codex entries. Books in the Crossroads. A book from the Crossroads. Its pages are filled with numbers and letters splattered around the page in random order, like writing in a dream. 
Every other book on its shelf is filled with the same nonsense script. In certain lights, the letters appear to shift slightly out of the corner of the eye. Communal journal. This slim journal was tucked into a bookshelf in the crossroads, as if left for someone to find. Each entry is in a different hand. I've dropped rocks off a dozen ledges. I've not heard one hit bottom. This place has no bottom. Do not be here if you have no tasks here. An entry in Cunat follows. Emmett missed the rendezvous. He said he was scouting the lower ledges on orders. Another entry in Cunat. Understood. No one's to go near that mirror. God, I love these flowers. I think they're so pretty. Oh, I, I love the design of this place. sort of old elven library. Let's hope we can track down the Vidasala in all this. And just casually, there's just like an upside down area, because why not? Why wouldn't there be? Excuse me. Vir Dathara, Signs of Victory. The pages of this book, Memory, describe a monument made in a single afternoon by a thousand thousand toiling servants swarming over a lump of fallen stone as large as a collapsed mountain. By the end of the day, the stern figure of Elganon stares down into a valley, carved out from the foothills of the rock. The slaves have disappeared. Light radiates from the Eidolon's narrowed eyes and its open, open snarling mouth. Hail Elganon, first among the gods, mark his victory eternal. Mm. You're not, not so friendly, not so light and fluffy as the Dalish might make out. Come on, around we go. Virdathara, homecoming. The pages of this book, Memory, describe an elf approaching a city of glass spires so deeply blue they ache. The city's outskirts are wrapped in lakes of mist, and figures stroll along the pearly, glowing stripes as, or strips as if they walked on solid ground. Groves of trees, woven into enormous parks, shelter elves in quiet hollows, while other elves walk below a river, churning along an invisible shoal in the air. This scene hums with quiet talk and contentment, as if the memories maker reaches the city's gates already thrown open wide. Lovely. Virdathara, Exile of the Forbidden Ones. The pages of this book, Memory, show the blazing forms of the Evanuris banishing a howling spirit from the reaches of the Fade that touch their lands. A voice rings out, stern and imperial. For abandoning the people in their time of greatest need, for casting aside form to flee to where the earth could not reach, we declare Zeb and Kek and others of her ilk exiled from the lands of the Evanuris. Beware. Their familiarity with shape allows them to travel paths unaided. They may be bound, but only the protection of your gods will fully shield you from their malice. They are forbidden from the earth. That is our right. Well, Hawk actually killed Zebankek. Zebankek is dead at this point. Or at least as dead as a spirit can be. Now, don't forget to go around the sides of this library. Because there is something very interesting at the back here. The very private diary of Sandal Fedic. Do not read. Sandal, my boy. Second Kingsway, 941. Enchantment? Enchantment. 19th Harvest Mere, 941. Enchantment! Enchantment! 11th First Fall, 941. Enchantment. Enchantment? 15th Harring, 941. Enchantment! Enchantment. 7th Winter's March, 942. Enchantment. 
30th of Winter's March, 942. Enchantment! Enchantment. 5th Guardian, 942. Enchantment. Enchantment? 21st Draconis, 942. Enchantment. 16th Cloud Reach, 942. Enchantment. 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 So now we know where Sandal has been for the past couple of years. Apparently, he found an Alluvian and he's been at this library. And also, he killed a Kunari. But where is he now and where is Bodan? That's the question. Personally, I think it's very unlikely that Bodan will be uh, making an appearance in Dread Wolf. Or if, if he will, then it'll be with a different voice actor because um, his previous voice actor has been blacklisted by Bioware for reasons similar to Greg Ellis. He, he was on Twitter basically being homophobic, so Bioware has said they're not going to work with him again. So either Bodan isn't going to make a reappearance or he will, but with a new voice actor. The best defense. We actually got this with our uh, with our trials rewards. So yeah, I, I don't need that. Well, pardon me, people. Don't jump off the edge. Now then. Atishan, Methadra Elven. More ancient elven. If you wish, honored elven, I will speak so your guests understand. I am study. I am a learning thirst. Come, know what has not been lost. New words. New stories. The Kunari would not approach, but we learned their words as well. If you wish to exchange knowledge, they congregate by the lower gate. What did the old elves use this place for? This is the Theodithara, the living knowledge of the Empire. The libraries of every city, the wisdom of every court. A connecting place whose paths are in disarray. Mm, what do you mean by that? What put this place into disarray? The Vildathara was made with world and fade. When they sundered, so did we. Paths broke, knowledge fragmented, many were trapped. I preserve their last words. And what were those last words? What were these old elves' last words? What happened? Where are the paths? Where are the paths? God save me, the floor is gone. Do not let me fall. Do not let me... On this spot, that is all. <laughs> That's lovely. That's beautiful. <laughs> Just on this spot, that is all. I'm looking for a Kunari named Vidasala. Do you know what she wants here? Vidasala, yes. She uses scholars and mages for study. They fear this place, but they seek to know the veil. What does Vidasala want to know about the veil? I regret I do not have more information. I am sundered from myself. If you discover another one of me nearer the Kunari, I may know more. Kindly give it my greetings. I have not thought with myself for some time. That That is a very trippy sentence, but I love it. I could learn so much about my people. What were they like? How long is our history? I will try to recall honored patron, but there are gaps, breaks. Greetings, laughter, Emma and Nasa, forms out of air, light, memories. And yet there are so many broken paths at every missing, missing, missing. Stop, please, stop. You don't need to hurt yourself. Yes, I. Wisdom from compassion. Yes, I will stop. Apologies. I knew all once. We knew. With the break. Only fragments or knowledge new since the fall. Only fragments or knowledge new since the fall. So something occurred, and that is what sundered this this spirit from itself. I, j I just want to point that Where out. Where are we going now? Know this. An unknown person, not of the Kunari, recently woke the librarians. An unknown person. Could this be our agent of Fenharel? The librarians facilitated learning before the fracture, before the fall. Now, beware them. They are unwell. Indeed. Oh, I... I, 
I love the librarians in this. Um, if, if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, then you will know this. If you are new here, uh, pre-COVID, I used to be a voluntary library assistant, so I, I find this very funny. Greetings. Okay, just wanted to double check. We'll be going now. Wisdom guide you. Mm -hmm. And wisdom guide you too, archivist. There, Kunari. On that upside down island. Looks like a camp up there. Down there? Shit, this place is weird. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh. Delightfully weird. Okay, no, there is there is nothing else on this little island. Okay. That repaired some steps. Let's look around for more. The inverted alluvian must lead to the Kunari. Yes, what is down here? Ooh, careful. Also, hello. Mm hmm, more of that strange fire. Okay, let's go through. It's happening more and more. <laughs> oh dear. No, I. This area is so wide. I'm like, I. It, it's. I know you're here. I know you're here. But when are you going to appear? Vir Dathara, a flowering imago. The pages of this book. Imago. Could that? Could that be a misspelling? Either way, the pages of this book, Memory, describe an immensely tall, immensely graceful vine that flowers with the heat of a copper sunset and has blossoms as large as ponds, petals as long as a man, and scents puffing out like citron and sky and carrion death. The day the last of the vines falls, spent and extinct, the creator of this memory weeps and, after recording the flower's sights and sounds, enters Uthanera. Treasure this thought, for it was the last of its kind, and so much more than the last of me. The veil isn't real. It's false, fake, fabricated to forbid. Isn't it wonderful? It means I belong here, helping, healing the hurt. I'm not a wrong thing, a wreck, a ruin. I'm what I should be. Oh... Solus understands. He doesn't want me to follow, but I can almost feel him here, all new, faded for her. And once again, just to remind you, all new, faded for her was the name of Solus's personal quest. It is also an anagram. Uh, excuse me. Okay, I will. I'm just going to assume that one isn't going to go. Vir Dathara, Birds of Fancy. The pages of this book, Memory, describe a pair playing, colliding in the air, bodies formed for kissing, stroking, lines of heat as molten as the sun. The dance is fluid, roiling, never-ending. Lovers tangled in a laughing knot that rolls on for years, a promise never to be parted, whatever ages come. An annoyed thought intrudes from one who marked this memory after it was recorded. By the gods, find a private chamber! God, that's... The equivalent of that is taking nudes of yourself and putting them in the pages of a library book and then putting them on the shelves. Like, that is... Not even, pi not even pictures of nudes, like pictures from your sex tape that you have created. Guys, you can't be doing that. That is not appropriate. Vir Dathara, attentive listeners. The pages of this book, Memory, show a solemn group of elves in an amphitheater of living wood. Entire trees grown into seats and stairs for the listeners to recline on. 
Two other elves and a spirit of learning are speaking in turn on ways to bend the properties of the material world when casting spells. At the end, the spirit, with the air of a senior lecturer, floats forward and booms in a surprisingly deep voice. The unchanging world is delicate. Spells of power invite disaster and annihilation. The unchanging world is stubborn. The pull of the earth fiercely resists making fire run like water or stone rise like mist. The unchanging world rings with its own harmony. Listen with fearless hearts and great works will unfold. Beautiful. And you? Virdathara, jewel of a hundred years. The pages of this book, Memory, show a narrow plateau on top of a mountain. Two armoured figures, one in gold, one in black, are fighting in the snow. Steel flickers so fast the air hums. Blood dots the ground. They do not stop for breath. The one in black makes no sound as a blade parts his throat. Mathal, in her wisdom, interceded in an argument between Elganan and Falon Din. With clever words, she convinced them to settle their grievance through a battle of their champions. Elganan and Falondin agreed, and set their champions against each other rather than declare war among the gods. Many tho oh, may those knights long be remembered, and Mathal's wisdom praised. Mm. And again, this, this certainly paints the gods as far pettier than the Dalish kind of portray them. What's back here? Anything? Anything at all? No. Okay. Good st Oh, hello. You're right. Hmm, okay, so that leads up there. And we have another Alluvian down here. Oh, where do we want to go first? Where do we want to go first? Um... <laughs> You know what, let's let's go for the one up the stairs. I'm drawn to this one. The Sundered Hall. Hmm. Oh hello! Fade touched honeycomb. I so badly wish that was in the main game. I would kill for that. I just want an archer with bees. Is that really such a crime? Okay, nothing up here. Let's see, where where does this lead? Again, I, I should just warn you, I, I find this area confusing, shall we say. It, it's just so many moving parts, you know, which Alluvian, which Talid's island, and this, that, and the other, and I, I get a wee bit confused. Okay, and let's keep heading up. It's, oh, oh, buddy, buddy, you are fucked. You two are also fucked, but you're gonna die on your own. That is, wait a minute, no, I think those are statues. Okay, you're not fucked, but you, sir, are. Oh, friendo, how did you even get there? Did you climb? Did there's nothing above us? Like, sir, how how did you do that? How did you do that to yourself, sir? I am. I'm somewhat impressed. Okay, hello there. Is Canaria dead, but there's not a mark on them? Wide eyes, and that look on their faces. I'd almost say they were scared to death. Oh, I love that. I love that. What could scare them? What scares anyone? in a library. What did the archivist say? 
beware the librarians. Welcome, welcome. Listen to the last words of those who lived past the fall. How could the dread wolf cast a veil between the world that wakes and the world that dreams? The Evanuris will send people. They will save us. When have you last heard from the gods? When the veil came down, they went silent. What is this veil? What has Fenharel done? Are these records saying Fenharel created the veil between our world and the Fade? Indeed they are, and that, that is quite a major, that, that's a major reveal. Everyone has always said that the veil was there from the beginning, but no, no it was not. And here's, here's the thing, I've said in the past that um, Sarah inadvertently, inadvertently disproves the maker. She says there can't be elven gods and there can't be the maker, it's just impossible. And I am inclined to agree, except here's the thing, we have evidence that the elven gods exist. They weren't gods. They were powerful mages, but we have proof that they exist. There is no proof that the Maker exists. And in the Chant of Light, there, there's this whole thing about like, oh yes, the, the Maker is responsible for the Veil. It was always here, ba ba ba. And now we learn that it wasn't. Their entire origin story for their religion is incorrect. So what is the likelihood that they got all of this wrong but they were right about the god. Personally, I've said this before and I'll say it again, I think the person Andraste got in contact with was Elganan. I think she somehow, don't ask me how, but I think Elganan maybe reached out from the Black City and was able to touch this young woman's mind. I think Andraste was a mage, so potentially this all happened in the Fade and you know, he, he gave her power, like he really souped her up so that she could go wage war on the Imperium and potentially the deal was like, okay, you wage war on the Imperium and then you'll break down the barriers of the, of the Fade, you'll break down the Veil and you'll help get me out. But obviously she died. And so his plan didn't succeed and thus all of the Elven Gods ended up reaching out to the Magister's side reel, Corypheus and his group. That's, that's what I think went on there. Either way, I am just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, we continue exploring the Veerdathara. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.